Hello friends, welcome to Jaswal Creation by Narayan. Today we will take up the next chapter from the book Flamingo of 10 plus 2 class and the title of the chapter, that is our third chapter, the title of this chapter is Deep Water and this chapter is written by William Orwell Douglas. In this video, we will be talking about the author William Douglas. We will discuss the story in short. We will know about the characters. Although this is a this is an autobiographical work, just one character William Douglas will appear here. And besides that, we will talk about the theme that is dealt in the story. So we'll come and let's start the chapter. Firstly, we will talk about the author William Orwell Douglas. William Douglas was born in 16th October 1898 in the US main city. He was born in the house of a minister. His father was a minister. After his initial education, he went to Whitman College and completed his graduation in the year 1920 with English and Economics subjects. After completion, he took as a teacher in Yakima High School and he taught Latin and English languages there. For teaching for a short period, he recognized or he felt that he had something different to do. So he left the teaching job and he restarted his education and this time he graduated in law and he opted for the Columbia Law School and went there in the year 1925. One of the most important thing about William Douglas is that he is the one of few peoples in the world who served as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of USA for a record time of almost 37 years. He remained Associate Justice in the Supreme Court of USA for 36 years and 209 days. This is a record in itself and nobody has served the post for so long a period. Let us discuss the background of this chapter. Incident narrated in this chapter is taken from the, his autobiography titled as Men and Mountains. This chapter is written in form of essay. William Douglas describes how he was thrown in water in a pool by a young lad and how he was almost killed. In this chapter, we learn about his fear of water and how he continued his fear with his determination and willpower. This chapter basically deals with the efforts, with the determination of a person who used to fear a lot of water. But early merely he decided to overcome his fear and finally he overcomes it with his sheer determination. Now the gist of the lesson. William Orwell Douglas had a strong desire to learn swimming from the very childhood. At the age of 3 or 4 years, he was knocked down by water waves in California Beach. After this incident, he developed a great aversion to water. And after some time, at the age of 11 or 12 years, he decided to learn to swim again and this time he opted YMCA pool for learning swimming. He had started learning swimming and it was merely a week that a misadventure took place. He was sitting beside the pool waiting for others to come and at that time a young boy picked him and 
dumped him into the pool. William Douglas swallowed water and went straight down to the bottom of the pool. While going down, he planned to come up very fast, but all his plans came to an end. He tried for three times to come to the surface, but he was not able to come to surface as he was a new learner and could not make up his plan to reality. During third attempt, he sucked water instead of air and all his effort was seized. He became unconscious and was brought out by some people of the pool. Due to this incident, the fear of water strengthened within and he deprived himself from the joy of fishing, boating or canoeing. But with the time frame, he again gathered strength and hired a trainer so that he could learn swimming again and the fear of water may be vanished. The instructor taught him swimming piece by piece and made him a perfect swimmer. He went to different lakes to swim and found that the tiny vestiges of fear still gripped him. Lastly, he went to Warm Lake and finally he overcame his fear of water. At last, William Douglas realized that in death there is peace and there is terror only in the fear of death. So this way he overcame his fear of water. Let us discuss the characters of this chapter now. As I had told you earlier that this chapter is taken from the biography of William Douglas. So only one person is focused primarily and this person is William Douglas himself. Throughout the chapter we will be facing just one personality and that is William Douglas. Now the theme of this chapter. The theme of this chapter is that a person can overcome his fear or weakness in life very easily. One has to be determined toward his or her target. If anybody is determined to his or her target, it can be achieved very easily. Secondly, the second theme which is dealt in this chapter is any hurdle is hurdle Till one fears it. If you are fearing something, then it is a harder in your way. And once an individual determines to overcome it, it gives way to success itself. If you want to be successful, we will have to be determined to our target or to our, our goal. And through this chapter, William Douglas has tried to show all of us the path of sheer determination. If you are determined to do something in your life, the hurdles, the hardship will give way itself. So this is all about this chapter in brief. See you in next video. Till then enjoy this one and don't forget to like and share the video. And if you have not subscribed to just while creation binary, kindly do subscribe and support my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.